All right, a little over an hour in this morning. Um, it's about nine o'clock. I got started way later than I wanted. Initially, I was thinking, get up at 4.30, get hiking by five, get into Jackson, like around six or so, six or seven. But I was kind of tired, I slept pretty well. Um, then yeah, my clothes were still in the the uh, house slash hotel slash restaurant. Um, I didn't want to wake anyone up, so I just laid down for a while. Got moving around six. I got in my clothes, used the bathroom, ate a little something, and then they had some cinnamon rolls ready, so I ate that. And it was a little before eight before I actually got going. But I think it'll be fine. Because I probably won't stay in Jackson. Might see if I can find a place just a little before or a little after. That way I don't have to pay 20 bucks to camp again. I paid 15 last night, but I also got a shower and laundry. And if I wanted to shower and laundry again today to, in camping, Jackson would be, I think, 25 bucks. So, no need to do that. So, if I stop just before Jackson, I think there's a um, cafe I could eat in the morning. Or just the farther I get, the closer I am to wisdom tomorrow and my rest day. Uh, I left Grant with three liters and it's 17 miles from Grant to the water source. I think that's gonna be good. Now there is a state park like six miles before that. But it's about a mile or two off. And I mean, I'm looking at, I mean, it's about an hour detour that I don't really need to do. I'll just keep going. Well, it's a little hazy this morning. More so to the west than to the east. So, it kind of seems to be worse in the mornings. I think it kind of just settles down. And there hasn't been much wind the last couple days. So that probably helps the firefighters. And it looks like we got a chance of rain today and better tomorrow. So hopefully it'll be, those will be afternoon stuff. And I wouldn't mind just a little rain today. And hopefully I can beat the storm tomorrow. Oh, and just a little bit ago, I just had another true oaky. Probably the first one I've seen. I've seen some other people that had some connections and that type of thing, but no true ones. Well, I probably could have camped there last night. Oh well, I had no idea. But camping back there worked out well because the shower and the laundry were nice. All right. I think I have, let's see, 30, Six more miles to Jackson. So, all right, it's about 5:30. Um, been on this road all day. No, not this road. The first, I think, 14 miles. I know the first 12 or so were on gravel, and then that turned into pavement, and then I got on the highway. This highway has been pavement ever since. Um, I think I'm maybe 29 miles in. And I got about 13 or 14 to Jackson. And I'm still unsure what I'm going to do. I might stop just before 
Uh, if I can find a good spot. Because I don't want to go to the, the bunkhouse and pay 20 bucks to camp. Because I'm just going to leave first thing early in the morning. And I mean, it's going to be light when I get in, anyways. It's been 9 30 or 10, I think. So, y'all might be asleep. So, hopefully, I can find a spot on the side to camp for the night. Well, yeah, this has pretty much been the view all day. Hazy. And can't tell if it's if it wants to rain or not. I know there's a chance of rain. And it's just hard to tell what what is haze clouds and what's kind of rain clouds. But it's been cool most of the day. So that's been a plus. I haven't had to use my umbrella very much. And I made it about 23 miles on three liters of water. And then got to a creek. And actually, there hasn't been a whole lot of water cho choices. But I got water and have about two and a half. That should get me into Jackson. Okay, I need to get cell coverage soon so I can call in and try to reserve a room and wisdom for tomorrow and the next night.